Mali à Mali màu trắng anh em ơi Bây giờ là kèo đang hạ về mức là 1,75 Ok chưa Một tính năm cái thứ màu nhẹ nhé Màu nhẹ thôi chứ nha em ơi Giống như một mã lót vậy thôi Bây giờ uh, hiệp 1 trận đấu này Đang có kèo đầu đồng tiêu rồi 0,75 hiệp 1 Hơi hơi cao Chỉ là về 0,5 nữa nha Mã ly trận đấu này 1 Ok chưa Một mã thường Và mã, một mã tiếp theo là một mã Một tính năm đang chờ để vào nếu mà về được trừ một thì biết luôn nha ít anh em có thể ném căng tay giùm em thưởng tài góc ba chúng ta bị người em thực tế là trận đấu này em chỉ cần hai góc cho mali một là xong <cười> nhưng mà thôi ok chúng ta sẽ cố gắng là mali sẽ tấn công trận đấu này sẽ một thế trận mà em nghĩ là một chiều một chiều thôi nha mali sẽ là người tấn công và các thủ uh, cộng hòa trung phi sẽ là những người mà đá theo đối đá phòng ngự phản công sao toàn sô cô la không gì bình luận viên thì ở trong phút đều có da trắng đúng không rồi họ xuống biên cho rồi chúng nhà ba ly được vậy rồi à, trận đấu này thì em à... bên đội hình của thằng cộng hòa trung phi có một con hàng khá là nổi tiếng đó là geoffrey condopia tiền vệ đang thi đấu trong mở cục bộ ông biết mắc xây và cũng là một trong những cầu thủ mà đã từng phát áo Atletico Madrid nha à, Cái thằng này thường đọc cái tên nó là con chó bia Con chó bia nha, con chó bia Em đọc thường đọc gắn tắt là con chó bia Nhưng mà, à, đó là tiền về đội trưởng của các thủ Cộng hòa Trung Phi Trong đội hình của Trung à, Cộng hòa Trung Phi thì không có quá nhiều cái tên thì Chỉ có mình à, con chó bia là được xem là thủ nổi tiếng nhất Và là cầu thủ đang giấu châu Âu thôi À không, còn một hàng thủ môn nữa cơ thằng cũng mong uh, mạng số 16 đó là Dominic Juve uh, Gane thằng này thì đang thi đấu ở uh, màu áo của câu lạc bộ uh, để xem như Lens Lens à sorry sorry không phải lên nha mà là Lorient ra xin anh sợ luôn <cười> gốc khê à cái gì vậy trời ơi bình luận viên của tổ em anh em nào cũng rất là uy tín nha ra kèo lúc nào hả à, anh thầy thầy phán mới gửi cái kèo xiên cho anh em trên nhóm à cách đây tầm khoảng nửa tiếng đi thầy à, bình luận viên thầy phán có gửi một cái kèo xiên trên nhóm cho anh em đấy tất cả các anh em bình luận viên khi mà làm trận đấu nào cũng đều sơ kèo rất là kỹ và đều đưa ra những cái mã mà gọi là kết nhất giảm thiểu tối đa nhất cho anh em à, góc châu phi từ từ anh em ơi góc châu phi từ từ thôi anh em không nên đánh vội đâu bọn này nó đá từ từ lắm tầm phút thứ 20 trở đi mới có góc em nghĩ là vậy đấy hôm nay thì để kèo góc cũng thấp không có cao thực tế thì em nghĩ là trận đấu này sẽ nổ tài góc nha Góc thì cứ bình tĩnh nha em ơi, không không gì phải xoắn Góc thì nó bịp rồi Trời ông ơi, mới đá có 12 phút ông nói góc bịp Trời <cười> ơi, ơi Em nuôi màu à Trận này đi tài dưới 2 Anh Đức Chiến ơi, à, thầy phán đã gửi cho anh em ở cái xin ở trên nhóm rồi nha Anh em nghĩ tâm, bình tĩnh viên mà có xin hay có những cái kèo con mẹ đi gửi cho anh em hết này Em nói từ đầu mà Em nói từ đầu mà em nói từ đầu này em không quan tâm tài gốc Em bị chấp gốc cơ Còn anh em canh tài gốc nó thấp một tí Tại bọn này nó cũng uh, Đâu có cài gốc uh, Nhanh gọn đâu Bọn này cứ từ từ vậy đấy Em em phổ biến cho anh em kèo cược là ngay từ đầu mà Chứ em đâu có dấu gì đâu Từ này em bị chấp gốc cơ Tuy nhiên là cái tốc, tốc độ đá gốc bọn này thì em biết là nó cũng uh, Theo cái tình phân khuôn hướng như vậy Bởi vì nhà đúng rồi Đã hết 35 phút chỉ có một góc rồi Cuối cùng 
mà kết thúc hiệp một cuộc đánh năm góc ấy Tốt lại cứ bình tĩnh Find their feet, so to speak, in the second half. That Gabon have been slow starters in quite a few of their recent matches, actually. We're hoping to uh, do a little bit better than that as they uh, continue through this qualification process. It's neither, neither Gabon. Kenya or Seychelles, of course, have ever qualified for the World Cup. The only team in Group F that have are at Cote d'Ivoire, making it to the big show in 2006, 2010, 2014, but they've missed out on the last two editions. And honestly, you look at the group that they've drawn here, despite only being uh, the ninth best ranked team in Africa at the moment, a lot of that due to uh, the lack of competitive fixtures as they were already qualified for AFCON, of course, as, as uh, tournament hosts. It's a bit of a su suspicion, really, that this Cote d'Ivoire side at the moment, not of the same vintage as years gone by, but they do have a number of young, promising players. Coming through, Green Canate as well, the 19-year-old striker, tearing up trees at Red Bull Salzburg. Scored two and had two assists as well. Against the Seychelles. As Kenny now come forwards again. Oh, nice turn there from Amondi. But eventually bundled off the ball. No foul, says the referee. Both players get back to their feet as the out ball. Looking for, for a, a hair and arena. Just goes out of play. Just, just careless with the passing sometimes, Seychelles, as we into the 15th minute of this one here in Abidjan Kenya two goals for the good after just five minutes and captain Michael Lagarda the fine finish for the first and uh, picking up the rebound from his own shot for the second slamming it into the net Carl Simi on the Seychelles keeper couldn't really do much about them maybe have palmed away the shot for the second goal a bit more to the side maybe but you're making a reflex stop like that you can't always pick and choose where you're going to put the rebound space opening up on the right hand side now Agada the captain he's got an underlap there as well ball goes across goal and it's just a fraction behind uh, Juma Masud so very close to 3-0 to Kenya For all the probing down through the middle, as soon as they gave it some width, then things opened up for Kenya. That's so just arguing, maybe a little bit flat footed there, in fact. As another ball comes in, this time from the left, headed away on the bounce. That's a bit of passing here from Seychelles. I'm sure they can play as well. I was thinking it's a little bit dangerous, especially when your goalkeeper miscontrols it like that. Kenya winning the ball high up the pitch. Namondi has the pop from distance, and it's parried over there by Simeon. Goes behind for a corner. He's not happy with his defence either. Good 30 metres out, wasn't it? An awkward height as well for the goalkeeper. Slightly unorthodox the way he palmed that one behind, but rather forearmed it behind. It will be a corner, Eric Mundy to take this. Crossfield ball is intercepted and now on the run. Ryan Henriette 
He can do it by the goalkeeper, though. He's come a long way out of his goal to claim that one. Good work from Matassi. Ooh, and giving away at the back there, and a slightly harem scare a moment. The Harrenby Stars. That's the sort of thing the Seychelles are probably going to be to look for. They're going to try and get on the score sheet here. See with the skill, the scores still just at 2-0. That's very nearly a, a very athletic takedown over on that far side. Well, it's only 2-0. Get one back, and you just never know. Stranger things have happened. A half tackle, half clearance, nearly turned into a fantastic ball down that right hand side. It's been given away though by the Kenyans. Henriette dropping deep for the moment. Oh, and a trip on the ball there. An ironic cheer from some of the uh, fans in the stands, and eventually Simeon clears long. Just over the head of Henriette, in fact, picked up by the Kenyan defenders and halfway. This is one of the problems that. Seychelles squad have as the balls teased in behind the defence there and has to be put behind by Helton Monet. One of the players brought into the side today. Fresh pair of legs. Can't help but wonder what the Seychelles team could do if they actually had all the players they wanted to pick for these World Cup qualifiers. Maybe that's something that they can work on. Future match days. So they've got another seven months or so before the next uh, two games in this qualifying Group F. Hopefully, at that time, they could sort something out with the uh, domestic league structure back home to ensure they do get the best players possible. Some sort of uh, decent preparation as well, trying to press a little bit higher up the pitch now. Seychelles, Kenya. Almost seeing a bit of a rope a dope here. Now you've got what four, five, six, seven Seychelles players all in the Kenyan half, and now maybe if they can come forward, they have a bit more space to work with. There's certainly space over on this near side. Cross comes in, but there's a late challenge from the Seychelles defender. That was Helton Monet. That would be hard on Erika Ottieno. Completely cleaned him out. Oh. 100% commitment from the Seychelles players. And our Guinean. Referee calls over the magic sponge carriers. journey Be okay to carry on. Carlos well, Simeon trying to get the uh, attention of the referee. It sounded like it, just trying to uh, maneuver his two man wall across into a correct spot. 
doesn't give Amundi a chance to uh, try and sneak one in at the near post when uh, Simeon is almost certainly going to be well but having flying out to try and meet this one with his fist he gets teased into uh, somewhere between the penalty spot and the six yard box six players in the box to aim at Amundi goes uh, for the near post though it's uh, away and now maybe a chance here on the counter-attack if Henriette could get on the end of that ball but I don't think he's quite Usain Bolt and that attack is over almost as soon as it started Space now down the right flank and two players to aim at, including the captain. Half clear, and then Simeon comes up with a big, strong punch. And the guarder decided he wasn't going to move out of the way of the goalkeeper. Goalkeeper drawing the foul here. He may have done himself a bit of a mischief as he landed. Garda certainly knew Simeon was coming. fair actually Magada saw he was coming almost sort of tried to shrink himself there to look at his body shape here like, oh no not me and uh, just wonder what uh, Simeon has done to himself when uh, landing he had a, a few uh, injury timeouts in the first half actually in their previous game against Cote d'Ivoire there is Ralph Jean-Louis, Seychelles coach, interim coach, I should say. So two previous spells in charge of the side, managed to uh, build some of their more successful teams, in fact, over the years. In 2011, he was the uh, first coach to take the Seychelles to, uh, all the way to uh, winning. The Indian Ocean Games, the uh, football in the Indian Ocean Games, I should say. Also, uh, an international midfielder himself for a good ten years. Well, that was before the Seychelles were accepted into FIFA, so he didn't play top level matches like this in World Cup qualifiers. Richard Odada. So, just uh, having a bit of a flex after going to ground. Delighted with the start this side we've made, maybe not quite so happy in the last 20 minutes or so. They seem to have just taken their foot off the gas a little bit in that time. As Dennis Njirek sees that ball out for a goal kick. Seychelles are at the moment pressing high up the pitch here. And they've decided to flip the switch and try and get some pressure on their opponents, but with too much pressure says a referee and the free kick is given away so this is a, it's a fairly young Henry Miner we're in behind here this could be a hat trick for the captain but that's actually a very good save from Simeon ball over the top not dealt with by the Seychelles Garda may feel he should have done a little bit better with the finish. It would have been something, a hat-trick in the opening half hour for the captain. And we can build up again from the back, Seychelles now. Daring their opponents to go over the halfway line. 
in the press and it seems a little bit haphazard the press coming from the Slay Charles. Try to intercept let the ball go underneath him. They do eventually get the ball hit. Pirates. And the ball given away. Ooh. Tons of space here for Agada over on the right hand side. The defender comes, tries to come back at him, and he just lifted it over the bar. Nice turn onto his left foot. Created the space for the shot. There's Javet. Playing everyone on side. Mr. Strength, strength there did Agada. Didn't look too much though. Into the shot. So 28 minutes in, we're going to have a uh, drinks break here. So it is hot. Temperatures still, even at this time of the evening, up in the high 20s, nearly 30 degrees. Humidity as well, over 80%, so that's not going to be easy for the players. I think especially for the Seychelles players, who are certainly the home-based contingent. Wouldn't be used to those sort of conditions. We'll be used to heat, but not really to humidity. Just uh, exhausting a few extra efforts from his side. Certainly, they don't think uh, they'd be happy with a 2 0 here, can you? Seychelles would, though. And especially with the uh, difficulties they've had in putting a squad together and indeed a team together for these games. Can't help but feel. A little bit sorry for them. It's hard enough as a so-called minnow. This experience at this level is uh, hard enough to compete even with your best players. But when you can't even get your best players from the clubs, then it, it really does become even more difficult. And bouncing ball. I was about to say the bouncing ball missed by uh, Shuma Masud, but the referee says there was a foul in there. Maive getting a uh, light talking to. Waiting for the delivery from Amondi. Eventually, the ball comes into the far post, and the flag goes up as the header lands on the roof of the net. Just moving a little bit early there was Injiri. Just looking at the matchups there as the ball came in, certainly feels like Kenya have the, the taller side. Give them just that. Get another advantage in this head-to-head. -head. Well, that's well won. Really so far. Getting stuck in there, winning the ball, winning the free kick as well. And that Seychelles immediately try to come for, but have to come back to take the free kick from the correct place. That well, doesn't quite come off for Monet. The right back making a, a run up the right. Oh, 
pinged over the top this time though hooked successfully clear as Monet tries to take the ball the referee nearly blowing his whistle for a free kick plays advantage then does actually go to the whistle as the pass went to a Kenyan player high foot coming in here as Monet went within with his head Mondi the perpetrator on this occasion Yet again, I've got to say, the pitch here looks absolutely fabulous. Top-notch facilities being put together for this upcoming Africa Cup of Nations in Cote d'Ivoire as the free kick comes into the box. The keeper comes a long way off his line and collects that comfortably. Very nice from Patrick Batassi. And now a bit more space for Kenya to play into. Magada sprinting down the right hand side beats the defender to the ball was that slightly heavy touch he just about keeps the ball in can't keep himself in play teammate comes in and rather miscues it out for a goal kick Charles trying to keep some control when they do get the ball and uh, again going with the almost like surprise tactic on the press and there's a little bit of a flashpoint here Richard Adada wasn't happy with the challenge coming in from the Seychelles player just try to step over the ball. No VAR in these games either. The referee will have to sort this one out by himself, maybe in a consultation with the linesman on this near side. We should have had a decent view of what was going on there. pair of yellow cards handed out Ooh, yellow for Helton Monet I believe one as well it looked like at least for uh, Richard Adada as the ball goes in behind but too close to the goalkeeper his throat is intercepted. Chester down on the edge of the area. Regarda tees himself up but leans back and lofts that one over the bar. Yeah, teammates up with him as well, the captain. I think a little bit of disappointment all round. Missed the opportunity for the pass as Lamondi made the overlap on his left first time pass there could have made all the difference as it was juggled the ball around and then a bit of a miscue really Regarda trying to make up for that mistake by trying to win the ball in the channel there and the ball sort of given away I don't think that's going to count as a, <laughs> a back pass as it did come from a Seychelles player, but not even the Kenyan players were claiming that one. As we have uh, eight minutes to go in the first half here in Abidjan as uh, Seychelles trail Kenya by two. Michael Lagarde goals to nil. Come forwards again here, Kenya. The free kick won by Amondi. This could just about be in range, but instead he's put it through quickly for his captain. And a double save. Carlos Simeon. Not happy with his defenders. They were caught napping, expecting the uh, free kick not to be taken so quickly. Clearly onside there was a guard. First shot 
hitting the goalkeeper, rebounding off the keeper straight onto Agada, who had couldn't do much about that. And in the end, so close to what would have been a very streaky way to complete a hat trick. Carlos Simeon again earning his court. Won't be fully match fit either. He is currently without a club. And Simeon. And Anthony Agai uh, went down like he'd been felled like, like a tree. As the ball it seemed to hit his uh, upper chest. But it's Seychelles player has stayed down though. Just wonder if uh, some of these Sell Shells players are going to really struggle, perhaps even more so in the second half. Of course, this time will be added on to the 45 at the end of this first period. It's a good tackle actually coming in from Wayeve. All then cleared straight into the Kenyan opponent. Calm in the stands. There is the Kenyan contingent. Well, they also uh, beat uh, the Seychelles at cricket just a couple of months ago, by the way. And the flick on there going out of play. Seychelles just with a, a couple of moments where they've been able to bring the ball into the final third. Just fleeting moments though, the rest of the time they've been at press back mostly. Kenya absolutely bossing possession here. And I think uh, considering they were 2 0 up after five minutes, I think Engin Firat will not necessarily be particularly happy with the uh, performance of his side. Certainly the three points were an absolute minimum. The ball oh, nearly given away there. Dangerous pass across his own box. Can you come again now? This down, down the left. There's loads of space here for Otieno. Good pull back onto the edge of the area. The shot comes in across goal. And it's just wide of the upright. Ronnie Otieno. Like he wrong foot, wrong footed the keeper there as well, dragging it back across. Otherwise, he's a the most confident keeper in the world. That that was definitely going wide. Line, line, line. It goes, good boy. Well, a sloppy header there, and now I'm going to say now an opportunity to play on the counter attack. But Monet was never going to get that ball into the channel and now he's got to run back and dig deep a little bit you can already see him huffing and puffing the number five try and get back into uh, some sort of defensive position and Kenya with an overload down this left hand side now Double! 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 And Seychelles claim the throw and they actually get it in the end as well in fact they don't Picked up on the edge of the area, and onto his left foot, well defended. First clearance, slightly muffed, the second one, a real up and under. Oh, that's a lovely little touch over on that far side. Things opening up suddenly now for Kenya. Yeah, touch across the back, not the best, and that's a fantastic tackle by the way. From Helton Monet, he's been a busy man, hasn't he? The Seychelles right back. Well, the entire back four, or back five rather, have been. 
looked like just for a moment that Agai is going to skip past into a dangerous position. You've got a man down over on that far side. Didn't see anything obvious, but I'm sure we'll get a replay in a moment. That looks awkward. Looked like, uh, I think it was Makan Sissoko coming in, just uh, his right foot giving way as he tried to change direction. Hopefully he'll be okay. Seychelles down to 10 men for the moment. As the corner comes into the near post, strongly headed away, just out of the hands of Simeon. The danger not over yet, though. Kenya still in possession until the shot comes in and almost reaches the stands. Amos Obiero on this occasion. Back foot, back foot, back foot. Javier, line, line, line. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Again, Seychelles trying to play the way out from the back, though, but Mone just eased off the ball there he certainly had the last touch that was quite obvious from uh, from this camber angle at least can you spread the ball over the right hand side and they really want to get their player back on the pitch now Kenya still on the attack here ball going out wide to the left cut across goal it's been missed completely by Adada that's nicely picked up. Another shot comes in from distance, half blocked. A shot from Njiri. Sign comes up, letting us know three minutes about its time at the end of this first half here in Abidjan. Is that three minutes of purgatory for the Seychelles, or can they uh, maybe just maybe get a little something out of the game here, right at the end of this first half? A little trip from behind on Ryan Henriette. The high line here from Kenya, the right delivery could be dangerous but they decide to take it short instead say shells perhaps not a bad option considering the height differential between the two sides Elton Mane busy adjusting his boot there rather than being able to uh, take the pass this isn't a slick bit of interplay but then strong defending and now's the ball to run out for a goal kick Just a little flurry of excitement for the Seychelles fans right at the end of this first half. Kenya now streaming forwards once more. Thinks about the shot but deflected. Shot coming in from uh, Juma Masud. It will be time definitely to take this corner. Wheel the big units up to the back as well. And this is danger time for Seychelles the right delivery Kenya would appear to have the raw materials to uh, be a real nuisance in corners and free kicks just taking a few moments to organize this one whole knot of players hanging around near the back post ball comes in brave header from the edge of the six yard box ball retained now by Kenya crossfield ball looking for the runner but Michael Lagarda the captain was trying to get back into an onside position when that ball came towards him so a poor choice of out ball from Kenya Simeon picks out the defender with the uh, lofted throw. 
and then a bit of a bit of a disorganised ball up the line from the Seychelles. And it's already back underway. The game here, and that's three 0 to Kenya. Just on the stroke of half time, and Juma Masud caught everyone unawares there to make it three 0 to the Harambee Stars. Throw taken quickly while others were distracted by another ball back further up the pitch. Did well to ride the challenge, then a low finish through the goalkeeper into the corner. Zuma also picks up his second goal with the qualification campaign and that's it for the first half here then in Abidjan lightning start for the Kenyans here at the Bufue Bunni Stadium in the Cote d'Ivoire captain Michael Agada with two fine strikes inside the first five minutes then followed 40 minutes of frustration for the Harambe star the Seychelles doing their best to hold out a couple of Decent saves as well from Carlos Simeon. But then, again, doesn't sound like much, but it depends on your levels of fitness, really. As that ball is eventually stabbed behind for a Kenya corner. And the rhythm of the match already seems fairly well set from here. to deliver this one in plenty of green shirts to aim at in the box six inside two just on the outside of the area as well not the best of corners really a little bit too much on it but still plenty of players up here for Kenya the attempted through ball though half intercepted and again Seychelles losing possession a, a little bit too easily Kenya get back into their passing rhythm now nice move from Amondi Kenya look like they're trying to play through the uh, middle of this packed Seychelles defense rather than maybe trying to get around the outside where there might be a, a few more gaps and space and then getting the crosses in Tell you when you're 2 0 up, though, early doors like this. Now the diagonal port and the offside flag goes up against uh, Juma Choka. 